What's up, YouTube? Back in the building again. The, sh the shop, the future shop, Tangent Performance. Let's do another update. We're still working. We're still chugging along. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff done over here. I can't remember what the last video was, but I don't think I had the wall sheeted in the tool room. Well, I have the whole wall sheeted in the tool room, and I even have part of it painted. Uh, I ran out of paint. I had to come back with another gallon. Well, probably I got two more gallons, but I got to do the rest of this wall and just go re... Uh, these are old, painted previously white. I'm just going to hit them so it's all uniform color. Uh, that wall needs to hit again. This one needs to hit it again. So I'll have to do paint that one. Then I'll have to probably do a second coat on it because it'll do the same thing like this one did and suck much of the paint in. So, But that's uh, getting close. Once we get this part of the wall uh, with two coats, we're ready to bring a toolbox over here and park in there. So that'll be exciting. But the biggest thing was I got all the framing work. Well, I can't say I got a few more pieces I'll have to hang just so I can screw uh, OSB to. I also have uh, the first chunk of OSB. I got 24 sheets here, so hopefully that'd be a good start. Also got my stair runners. There's one and the other one's over there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that up. I'm trying to try to start the step right there at the end and then end up there. So it should actually, if I time it, or not time right, but get it close, I should be really close to my truss. So I might be able to tie the staircase into the truss and have something really secure. But the biggest thing is, I got most of it with insulation installed in there. Beautiful, isn't it? Is another problem, isn't it? Uh, I've got, this is R30. It's uh, 24 inch, 10 inch deep insulation so that should be pretty good for the uh, ceiling i got r13 we'll come back i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow and do all of the sides and the fronts and then we can start hanging osb i just gotta figure out where i'm gonna start because i know at the end it's kind of weird and wonky so i gotta figure out if i'm gonna go this way or if I'm going to go this way. I think I'm going to go this way because this will be a sheet probably. It should be a sheet here and a sheet here and then B sheets. Yeah, so I may start I may start back at this corner, but I don't know yet. I need to hang that piece of uh, insulation. I kept that out for some reasons, but uh, we have to finish insulating. And then we'll be ready to hang some OSB in here. So we'll be doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Uh, went ahead and uh, had a party up front. Boarded the uh, front off right for just temporarily uh, for right now. It's just boarded off. Uh, that, that hole probably will actually be filled in the future. And there's going to be a walk-in door over here. Uh, but that's that's in the future. That's not real pressing right now i think i'm just gonna keep that blocked off because i am running the air conditioning and i have the office being air conditioned and it is pretty cool in there right now I think it's like 69 degrees in here and that's i don't think this wall is insulated and this wall is not insulated i know for sure but i got two new doors i need to put in for the office so i'm gonna redo this wall and insulate it and if this wall is not insulated i'll pull the back off of it and insulate it but yeah, right now, this is the temperatures in the building. Back in the shop, uh, one is in the paint booth, two is back in the powder coating room, and three is up front, and four or inside is this one right here. So it's 69.8 in here. It is 70 up in the front wing, and it is 74 in the paint booth, and 73 in the powder coating booth. Uh, if we go out here, we'll go ahead and do a actual middle of the shop test and see what the temperature is out here 75.7 with 49 percent humidity so yeah it's not bad back here at all actually i'm really impressed on how cool this place stays uh yeah the it was like 90 some degrees outside today so i mean that's there's no air conditioning running back here it's just it stays pretty chilly or not chilly, but it stays pretty cool. And uh, once we get this giant hole in this roof uh, plugged up, we should definitely uh, definitely have some improvement on uh, temperatures in this area anyways. So, yeah. It's, uh, 
coming along pretty nice. I don't think I'm going to cut the video off yet, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this part off and cut you guys back on tomorrow when I get a little bit more done. Was it tomorrow? It's about a week and a half later. I've got some stuff done. Haven't got a lot of stuff done to the building. Uh, I've got just some stuff here and there, but I got some sheeting up on the ceiling. I'm not real, real proud how some of it lines up. Like I did get a big gap there. I am gonna end up caulking all the seams like I did in there. And then this is just gonna get hit with uh, white paint. I'm probably gonna go get uh, a couple of five gallon uh, uh, jugs of white semi-gloss paint for in here. That'll break the bank, but uh, yeah, this all get white semi-gloss like in there. I'm liking, I'm thinking the semi-gloss because I have, it's less, got less drag, it cleans up a little bit easier and it doesn't stick dust to it as near as bad. And this being kind of a textured finish is, has a habit of sticking cobwebs and stuff to it. So hopefully the semi-gloss paint will help with that. Uh, and if I have any left over, I will paint some out here. There's a bunch of stuff that needs painted. This still needs another coat. I don't know if that was, I did that in the previous video. I think I did. I still haven't got to another coat. That wall needs another coat. This wall needs another coat. That's good and ready to go. I've already got the outlet covers on it and stuff. That's fine. I got my other camera installed, so that's ready to go. Uh, another exciting news, I guess, for projects. Snowball's here, so that's that was fun moving uh, this car with no drivetrain underneath it. Well, not drivetrain, but no axles and suspension. But it's here, so it's ready. It's kind of just tucked over here in the corner right now. Uh, just kind of sitting, waiting for its uh, spot next. It's on the my project list of stuff. We're going to work on this car a little bit. I'd like to get at least the rear axle in it and... Uh, some other stuff i do have to buy a few parts i got most of the stuff to bolt the axle into it i'd like to get an exhaust system they're kind of pricey i'd like an slp loud mouth they only make them for the fourth gens but you can make them fit a third gen with a little bit of modification i'm thinking about one of those setups they're kind of pricey uh so that might not happen real fast still gotta get a fuel sender drop the tank put the new fuel sender in it and uh fix that problem got to part this truck out just to get it out of here because when this truck's parted and gone, this car will probably slide right into this booth. So we'll go ahead and get that moved on once we get that truck out of the booth. One ton's just sitting here chilling. Uh, my square body, I went and hauled off all the junk in the back. It's actually outside hooked up to a trailer uh, with a flat tire now, unfortunately. So that's real nice. I have to definitely uh, look into that. I gotta get this trailer pretty much buttoned up and moved out of my way. They want to come drive that this weekend to get it out. So I gotta have this out of the way so they can get this out. Uh, but yeah, it uh, looks pretty good in here. Uh, gonna have more room for cars than I thought. I wanted to do shelves over here. That's not gonna happen because that would get me rid of one of my spots for my cars because I think that this is where I'm going to keep mine. If I get rid of this framework, I can back, say, this car right in there. Once I clean a bunch of crap up, there'll be another room for another car. Down here, it gets kind of funky. Over there, it's laid out a lot better uh, other than that doorway that I can't use because that truck's in front of it. That door's a pile of crap anyways. If I ever uh, did that, I'd take that door out and it wouldn't even be there anyways but to, or at least replace that door but i'm gonna put a shelf over here probably to the end of this or maybe a little further because this is too narrow there's that's a 60 inch lawnmower and it barely fits in there it'd be a squeeze for a car it had to be straight it couldn't be at an angle and then you can't park nothing in this corner unless it's small and you park it this way because of this post so a shelf in this corner would be far better to have shelves in this corner just to have uh stuff for transmissions engines parts everything could just go over here build a big shelf and uh we'll have a big shelf over here so i'll have to get some stuff for that i gotta get some stuff for the ducking because i want to pipe out a couple vents 
and uh, turn this this way to not have it blowing on the deal because I'd like to actually have heat in this building this winter just to keep it above freezing. I'm not going to try to keep it uh, crazily warm in here, but I just like to keep it above freezing because there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. I do need to run a duct to the uh, going to be the powder coating room because it does not have one. I need to get a duct in there just so it can have heat because that's where a lot of the paint and stuff's gonna be. So I'm gonna put a bunch of my paint and stuff in there. So yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing. I haven't got a lot of time to work on it. I've been busy doing other stuff and just kind of getting the garage ready around for some stuff to move. I gotta get some stuff over here, but uh, yeah. I wanna get the ceiling finished. So once I get the ceiling finished, I'm gonna have about, if I don't make any mistakes from this point forward, I'm gonna have about four sheets left. So I'm hoping I can either do this piece here or this piece, which I should be able to do with four sheets, a sheet down along this run with no problems. We'll see, I'm just hoping. Then I gotta go back, kind of figure out how much I'm gonna need. I gotta go back and get so I can do this wall, this wall, this wall, and yeah, you get the picture. Just so we can box this in here so then I can get paint, paint it. And then we're ready to put lights in and then we're just gonna do lights like out here. So, but uh, the lights have put in and then we'll uh, be able to work in here. And that's exciting because I have a bunch of plethora of stuff that needs done. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video now just because I think I'm gonna get out of here. I thought about hanging another sheet on the end here, so then just the main ceiling's completed. I mean, if I got real ambitious, I'd do the rest of it, but uh, I'm not that ambitious. I got a piece of uh, a piece of insulation to hang. I got three. I got one there, one there, and then that one. So those will be need to be hung, and I have to do insulation from here to there, and there, and there, just so this wall is insulated. Uh, it doesn't have to be insulated past this point because this, that's this wall here is just out here. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we need to get that completed so I can get some stuff in here, get my toolbox over here, get some stuff worked on. I have so much stuff to do. Like I said, it's crazy. I'm just tired of not being able to work on my projects. I want to get this usable so I can get back to work on my projects and hopefully some other people's projects too. I have a couple people I made work on their stuff for them. So... We'll really get them in here and do them. Like I said, I'd like to have one booth for my stuff, one booth for other people's stuff, or just quick jobs. I uh, wanna clean this corner out and uh, get figure out what's going on with this, all this wood that's here. I am going to put the ethernet cable for this camera, for the that side camera in a conduit. And I think I'm gonna run down a little farther. I'm gonna put a uh, POE spotlight my real link, I have one in the back I installed. I went ahead and installed it. It looks really good back there. Uh, it's just like the one on my front camera. And uh, I wanna set one off that side, just so that side's got some light on it because I think there's gonna be some cars parked on the outside of that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. And hopefully in the next one, at least the ceiling's done. And uh, possibly, We'll have some tools and some parts and stuff here, maybe. Oh, I lied. I don't know. We'll see how much gets accomplished. Uh, I want to get, for the rest of this week and this weekend, I want to get a bunch of stuff knocked out here. I just need to get on it. Uh, it just, there's just that, everything just needs to be kind of just put on hyper speed. Not too hyper where it just kind of gets thrown together, but fast enough speed just so I can get this done so I can get in here at work. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys have a fun time with your projects.